Hello, Iowa State University alums, donors, and fans. Athletic Director Jamie Pollard and I thought it was important for ISU supporters to hear directly from us. We appreciate the fact that you would take a few minutes to let us update you on the events of the past week. First, I know it was very disappointing and concerning uh, for you to hear the announcements from the University of Oklahoma and the University of Texas about their decision to not continue to have the Big 12 Conference hold their grant of media rights once the current agreement ends in 2025. Also, I understand as a leader of our great institution how important the Big 12 Conference and our athletics program is to the university. It's important to the student and community experience a thriving athletics program at Iowa State University helps the university grow and helps with overall support. As athletics director Jamie Pollard and I talked about the events of the past week, we wanted you to know that we remain firmly committed to working together to address the issues, to find the way forward, to support the department, and to support our alums, our fans, and our donors. So now it's my pleasure to turn this over to Jamie Pollard. Well, thank you, Dr. Winterstein. And I think it's really important for all of our Cyclone fans to know that we have great leadership in Dr. Winterstein. The challenges we face as an industry and an institution are gonna need presidential leadership. And Dr. Winterstein is at the forefront of the Big 12 and helping us navigate not only what's transpired over the last week, but the challenges we're gonna face going forward. I think it's really important though, that all Cyclone fans understand that it's not a time to panic. Our industry is in a complete state of flux. And quite frankly, every institution should be evaluating where they are and how things are gonna look as this landscape continues to change from the Supreme Court ruling to the NIL, to the NCAA, and to the college football playoff. I also encourage our fans, although it's fun and it's interesting to get caught up in all the rumors, this is one more time where taking a step back and having patience and understanding that this is not going to be solved anytime soon. The next four years will be a long, bumpy, and challenging road for everybody in college athletics, not just Iowa State, not just the Big 12, but the entire industry. I think it's really important to understand what does grant of rights mean? Grant of rights essentially means that each institution has turned over their media rights, meaning their opportunity to be on television, to their conference office, and the conference has in turn sold that to our media partners. In the Big 12, the grant of rights is through 2025. That means that not any of the 10 institutions can go become a member of another conference without one, leaving their media rights behind, and number two, paying a penalty. That is why I'm so encouraged by the fact the Big 12 is led by Commissioner Bob Bowlesby. As we learned, Oklahoma and Texas intend to honor their grant of rights through 2025. If that remains the case, we know for the next four years the Big 12 is gonna stay viable. The Big 12 is gonna to continue to win national championships and be competitive in NCAA championships. And all 10 members are gonna to continue to receive their full media shares. That allows us the opportunity to spend the next four years evaluating the landscape and understanding what is changing or what isn't changing in college athletics. I know that that gives us the best possible opportunity
to position Iowa State University for what comes next. I also am very appreciative of all the Cyclone fans that have reached out to me during the last 48 to 72 hours. And so many of you are asking, what can we do to help? And the message is simple. All Iowa State fans need to continue to just do what we do really well. Fill Jack Trice Stadium and Phil Hilton Coliseum and support our teams like no other institution in the country. And if we do that and rely upon the great coaches that we have, led by Coach Campbell this fall, Iowa State University will find itself in the best possible position it can be in when it's time to decide what happens four years from now. In conclusion, I just want to remind everybody, in life, adversity strikes. We've been down this path before with conference realignment. We found our way through all the challenges of COVID last year, and I'm convinced we'll find our way through this latest set of challenges. At Iowa State, we thrive trying to make lemonade out of lemons, and I don't see this being any different. Dr. Winterstein, do you have any final thoughts for our fans? Well, first of all, Jamie, thank you for those great comments. Really appreciate your leadership. And I wanna thank all of our fans. I wanna thank our faculty, staff, and students, our alums, our donors. Thank you all for what you do to support Iowa State University. We look forward to seeing you in Jack Trice Stadium on September 4th. Go, Go Cyclones! Cyclones.